Hi there, Dan Henson to introduce a little bit about the Scorpion jet aircraft. The airplane you see behind me was a concept envisioned Textron Air Land, uh, produced in under two years from uh, initial team development, design, uh, all the way through build and creation of the airplane and obviously initial test. It's got 125 hours on it, uh, all total, one of a kind airplane. Designed for intelligence surveillance, reconnaissance and light strike capability. It's got 82 cubic feet of empty space in the belly of the airplane, which makes the fuselage a little bit wider. That's why we put the tails out to the left side or left and right versus a single tail. It's got a straight wing for long endurance time and uh, it's got lots of components from other existing product lines which gives us great confidence in the airplane very very early on in the program. For instance the engines are Honeywell TFE 731-48Rs. You'll find those uh, on the Citation 7 and the Learjet 45 so we're not testing new engines on our first trip across the North Atlantic. As far as sensors in the airplane goes we currently have a uh, FLIR systems uh, sensor package on the nose of the airplane. A 15 inch shirt comes standard with the airplane. I also have a 15 inch ensure it uh, currently installed in the airplane that's operable uh, that was retracted up in the belly of the airplane when we flew it across the ocean. Uh, we'll be doing an exercise as soon as we get home providing a uh, sensor video feed to a, a ground customer. Uh, having two sensors on the airplane like that gives a lot of synergy, a lot more capability when you can use one to watch the battlefield, observe many different uh, features going on, and perhaps the pilot in the front seat can burrow in and, and uh, focus on a specific target or start to target that for kinetic engagements from any of the many weapons that are capable of being carried. Uh, last thing probably is the nose has been designed to come standard with a weather radar. It could also take uh, growth as an option uh, for some of the newer systems uh, being built today for uh, even air-to-air -air radars.